In this video, I want to jump across to this insert section here and explain to you the differences between these three different sections. I did show you that if you select a track, this is the volume fader for that track. So if I change this, it's different to that track because it's track dependent on this volume. And then this is the master volume. But now when you get to the inserts, these are the insert effects that are inserted on each track. So for each track, you can have different inserts that are going into this insert section over here. And these are pre-inserts. So they happen before hitting the track volume. So you can then adjust the track volume. And then from there, it passes into the master section. So what's ever in this master section affects all tracks. You've got a pre-insert. So these are insert effects that will be before the master volume fader, and then your post fader insert section. This is, for example, where your limits will be placed in the master chain. But let's start off by going over the track inserts. If I just play back these tracks, I'm going to listen to the first one. Now, when I look at this meter over here, I am going to be getting into the meters in a later video, but let's just take a quick look. If I jump across to the acoustic track, it sounds like it's a missing a bit of bottom frequencies. So I could go into that track, add an EQ. And on this EQ, if I just look at this meter, somewhere around 80 to 100. So I'm going to do a slight boost over there. So this is the first track with no inserts. And then the acoustic track. Just what you want me. So it's got that slight boost just to get the two tracks sounding quite similar together. Then if I go across onto this instrumental track. Maybe I want to use this as a performance track or a karaoke track where I can get a vocalist to sing over it. So maybe on this track, I also want to add an EQ. So I'm going to go for the Pro EQ again. And on this, I want to dip the area where most vocals sit, which is around the one to two kilohertz region. So I'm just going to do a dip here so that when you put a vocalist over this instrumental, the vocal is popping out over that instrumental music background. So going through these tracks, some of them have insert effects on them and some of them don't. But you're using it as a way to get all these tracks to sound more coherent together before going into the master section where you're going to be applying master bus processing across all the tracks. So that covers the pre-inserts on the tracks. Now next up, let's take a look at the master pre-inserts.